हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द मेमरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी अपलोड द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द मैथमेटिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स आई विल कवर द दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हेयर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट लेक्चर इज अपलोडेड ऑन द मेमरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैम देर इज अ प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द सी एस एन एड यू कैन सी देर इज अ पी वाई क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड द टॉपिक वाइज ऑल आर अवेलेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स आई कैन सॉल्व दिस लेक्चर दैट इज अ मेमरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इन वेरी सिंपल मैन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो क्लियरली से इफ यू लुक अबाउट दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट माई इम प्रॉपर इंट्रैगर सो इफ यू वॉच माई लास्ट लेक्चर ऑन द इम प्रॉपर इंट्रैगर लाइक ऑफ दिस दैट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक यू कैन सॉल्व दिस लेक्चर दिस क्वेश्चन विद इन अ फिफ्टीन सेकेंड सो वट इज द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द अर्लियर वेन एवर यू हैव द इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम ए टू इन्फिनिटी x raised to power p then this is convergent when when p should be yes if anybody remember whenever p is my greater than 1 and divergent when p is less than equal to 1 on the other hand when you have the limit from a to b 1 over b minus x raised to power p this is my convergent when if you remember if p is my less than 1 and divergent if p is greater than equal to 1 so clearly say b is my here is 1 so it means this is my convergent when lambda is my less than 1 fine this is convergent when lambda is my greater than 1 so definitely both can never be convergent at the same time so there exists a lambda which both are convergent that's a wrong option can it possible both are divergent yes you can see whenever lambda is equal to 1 it is also the divergent it is also divergent there exists a lambda such that i of this is convergent so if i simply take lambda is my 0 fine because it's a less than 1 so it means this is my convergent and what is that if lambda is 0 it is a divergent because it satisfied this property so k is divergent correct option there exists a lambda such so that k of this is convergent so i can choose lambda is greater than 1 anything say lambda is 3 if i choose lambda is 3 then this number is my k of this is convergent but this is my divergent so this option is also correct option so a b and d are my correct option you can check your if if they are which of the following is not false or which of the following is not correct then this is the right answer otherwise a b and d are the correct option and you can see after if you watch my lecture then you can solve this question within a 15 second look at this another one now this question is related from the numerical analysis again i have gave you the numerical tips related to the interpolation you can see about this lecture on interpolation fine so what is that as i told you you can write in the table form firstly it's a zero 1 1 2 2 1 3 3 and 4 and 5 fine now you what is your target is the coefficient of x cube so very simple first of all you can see they are equally spaced fine so once they are equally spaced either you can use the lagrange interpolation newton divided difference but there is no need to solve them what is the shortcut tricks as i told you this is is a cube so third derivative divided by third factorial so the right answer is divided by 6 of something now you can find this third derivative that's over what is that 2 minus 2 uh, minus 1 is a 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 2 again difference them minus 2 3 0 difference them 5 difference them minus 3 so what is the right answer of this is because we need a third derivative is a 5 so 5 over 6 is the right answer of this problem so you can see how many second you are needed maximum 2 maximum 15 second you are needed to solve this problem if you watch if you previously watch my these lectures are there if you still not you can watch right now so that it will be helpful for you in the next examination okay now look at this another one what is that this is related to the complex analysis and whenever there is a integration that is called as the residue 
again you can solve this question within a fraction of second if you watch my previous lectures on the residue theorem or residue integration what i told you always draw this contour what is that this is a circle center is origin radius is my 1 fine now find the pole of this so clearly says pole is my 0 but it's of how many times is a k times fine now you can find the answer is 2 pi iota times residue since it is a k times so i can simply written as a k minus 1 times of k minus 1 1th derivative of the function remaining one e of z at z is equal to 0 so what is the right answer what is the nth what is the k minus 1 derivative of the exponential function it's a remain same and what is the value at the zero is 1 fine so this is the value of my i k now look at the first option what is the limit of i k as k approaches infinity so this is 1 over infinity is a zero but he said infinity this option is cancel look at this one i can simply choose k is equal to 1 fine what is the answer of the i 1 i 1 is my 2 pi iota over 0 factorial what is my i 2 2 pi iota over 1 factorial both are same so it's a equality satisfied but i can because he said for all what is the i 3 2 pi iota over 2 factorial now now they can said is i2 modulus what is the value of this is 2 pi what is the i3 modulus is a 2 pi over 2 that is a pi can you say this number is less than of this it can never because 2 pi can never be less than of the pi so this option is cancel i k for all k again i can choose again you can see i1 is a non zero i2 is again a non zero so but he said for all this option cancel so again you can see ik is a non zero from this case so right answer is my d is the right answer you can see is a very simple look at this another one which of the following statements are my correct f and g continuous and uniform continuous again again you can see is there is a lecture of the uniform con uh, continuous you can see there is a lecture related to this which is available at here sequence and series of the function anyhow you can see what is the tips how you can check about the continuity so first of all it's a 4 and we all knows this function this function is my continuous for all x fine because mod x is a continuous everywhere it is not differentiable but it's a continuous now 4 is a constant function 4 is also the continuous function every constant function is a continuous mod is a continuous sum of them is also a continuous so first option is correct option whether g is a continuous again what is that g is a composition function fine or what is my g g is nothing but my 4 plus x square minus 2 fine again you can see this is a continuous function for all the x domain of 0 to infinity fine 4 is a con continuous function because it is a constant function so g is also continuous function how you can check about the uniform continuity there is no need to apply the definition of fx minus fy less than epsilon you can see this function is if we all knows if my x minus a is continuous for all x what does it means it is uniform continuous as well so what does it means it is a uniform continuous this is my continuous so some of them is a uniform continuous is the right answer same for this this is my uniform continuous as well this is a continuous so this is also the uniform continuous as well so all these four options are my right answer and you can see is a very simple you can solve this in a very simple manner so i this is the way you can solve all these four questions i will come up with my next lecture with the remaining questions till now you can simply like share and comment with with videos you can share this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning